Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can insert paper size templates into your OneNote for Windows 10. So this method will only work for Windows computers only and it cannot be used for MacBooks or iPads. Of course you can use them to edit the content but you won't be able to print them or to save them as a PDF from there. You will have to use a Windows computer. Alright, so after going through tedious number of hours trying to figure out the correct sizing and margins, I have finally come up with this entire OneNote A4 notebook that will not only give you A4 sizes but it will also give you letter sizes A3 and A5. So if you want to get all this for free, you can actually go to my link in the description below and there will be a link for you to actually write in your email so that you can sign up for my free newsletter and then you will be able to receive a PDF on how to download and import this entire OneNote document. Alright, so I'll first give you a quick run through about what this OneNote notebook entails. There's the instructions part where these instructions will tell you how to use this entire template, how to add in additional templates, how to remove them, how to save them as a PDF, and how to print them after you have edited your notes or your other content. So this also comes in four different sizes, A4, letter A3, and A5. And for A4 and letter size, it will come in four different paper types. One is blank, one is line, one is dots, and one is music. All right, so for letter sizes, it's also the same thing. It will come in the blank, line, and dots, and music. But for A3 and A5, they will only come in blank paper templates. Okay. So other things include um, for the lines, dots and music papers, they actually only come in portrait mode and for the blank, it will come in landscape mode for all different sizes. Alright, so how do you actually use this paper template? So generally, you, you will just have to go into any paper size of the paper type that you want. So let's say if I want the line one. I can go to this page and I can just click on right click and click on copy and I'll copy this and paste this in either inside this notebook or I'll paste it inside an existing notebook that I'm using and then after I've pasted I'll be able to edit this entire page on itself. So the reason why we don't want to just edit directly on this is because we want to keep a free uh, blank template for us to use whenever we want to have different kinds of paper. Alright, so I'll demonstrate on how the printing works. So after you have actually typed in some notes, so for example, you have double click and then you click on today's notes after you have typed in your lecture notes, blah, 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 blah. And then you type in a whole chunk of whatever the teacher has said. So all this you type in inside. And then after you have typed it all in, you would, you wanted to print this out as a PDF. Alright, so you want to print this out as a PDF. So you just have to go to these three dots called settings and more and click on print. If you first see this page and then you're like, oh, Amanda fooled me. They said that it's going to be 100% foolproof, idiot proof. And then now I have cocked up this entire thing. Don't worry. Let's just check our settings. Go to more settings and then change up our paper size from letter size to A4 size and make sure that our orientation is correct, so in portrait mode, and click on OK. So after you have done so, you can find that, OK, so Amanda has not fooled me after all. Everything is very sweet, and all the margins have been clearly marked out. So if you see each page, they all have their beginning and the end, and the edges don't bleed into the edge, all right, as you can see in all the pages. So you can do this for all of your notes, and once you realize that you have ran out of pages and you want to add in additional pages, you will just have to scroll all the way down and click on the last template that you have been using. Okay, so just click on one of them and click on Ctrl C to copy it. Because it's an image, so you can just Ctrl C to copy and then Ctrl V to paste. So after that, you will want to paste this exactly four boxes below the previous one. Alright, and make sure that the grid line that you are using is actually the medium grid. So if you don't know why it's medium grid, you can go to view, rule lines, 
and go to grid lines and click on medium grid. So this will ensure that all the margins are equally spread out and OneNote will not see them as um, uh, the same page or as two separate pages that is too far off. All right, so it's to keep the margins nice and clean. Okay, so if let's say you want to print this entire document out after you have re written everything and you don't know how. So uh, instead of, okay, so instead of directly connecting your printer to this OneNote for Windows 10 and printing, printing it directly from OneNote, what you will want to do is to do whatever that we have done just now, which is how to save it as a PDF first. After we have saved it as a PDF, then we will print this out from our PDF software. All right. So do not connect your printer directly to OneNote because it does messes up with the margin and it's very complicated to fix a margin that is, that is just a huge mess. All right. So we don't want to do that. We just want to save everything as a PDF and then we'll print it out from there. Okay. So if that's say you want to print a landscape one, how do you do that? You can just, same thing, you go to print, click on more settings, and in this orientation, instead of clicking on portrait, you will want to change this to landscape. So after you have done so and change your paper size and everything is good to go, and you will realize that, okay, that's all set. All right. So other things that you might want to know, for example, how to remove this grid when I want to print. Same thing, just go to view, rule lines and click on none. This will actually take away all of the grid lines. Okay, and if you want to turn them back on, just click on medium grid. All right, and any other things that we want to cover? Okay, if let's say you have access templates, so you only run to write less than 10 pages, but I gave you 10 pages. So what do you do with the additional pages? You can just click on them and click on delete. Okay, they will just go away. All right, and if let's say you realize that you want to insert images onto this page but you realize that this image keep moving so what do you do with that you can actually just click on the image and then right click to set it as a background after you have set it as a background you will realize that it's okay it's still inside and you can actually this uh this method will still work as long as you keep the margins correctly all right which is the four boxes difference so make sure that you paste it four boxes after the previous one. All right. Okay. So now I'll teach you how you can import this entirely free OneNote A4 notebook into your OneNote desktop app using the link in the description. All right. Everything is for free and you can just go to the link, fill in your email, and then you can download this entire notebook. Okay. So what you want to do after you have entered your email and you re you will receive this inside your email, this entire instructions PDF file. Okay, so in this PDF file, you will get the instructions on how to download and how to import this OneNote notebook. There's a very strict uh, how step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do in order to get it imported correctly. So what you want to do is to open up this link first and it will bring you to an existing Google Drive that I have made and you want to right click and click on download. Okay, so after you have downloaded it, you will realize that this entire zip file is actually inside your downloads and the reason why I have two is because I was trying to do another demo just now. So. You can find this zip file inside your downloads folder and what you want to do is to right click and click on extract all. Okay. And same thing, you will find the extracted folder inside downloads. And after that, you will just have to go to this instruction sheet again. So what you want to do is you will have to use Google Chrome to enter this website, OneNote Notebook Importer. So just click on this link because everything has been hyperlinked for you. Okay and you will achieve, you will get to this page. So you want to click on import, go to your downloads and scroll down all the way to the extracted folder, click on the folder and click on upload. So you do not want to click on the contents inside. You just want to click on the extracted folder. 
Okay, so this entire process will take less than 5 minutes. So if let's say you realize that your computer is running very slowly and it has been running for more than 5 minutes, then just stop the entire process and make sure that you follow the step-by-step -step guide. If let's say you run into an error where they tell you that you have logged in too many times, then it's okay, just go and go to your settings and clear your catch. And after you have cleared your catch, you should be able to log in. Alright, so after it's done, you'll see this purple tick and you can click view notebook. Okay, and it will first lead you to your OneDrive folder first before it opens up OneNote in the web. And you will just make sure that, okay, this is the correct notebook, which is OneNote A4 notebook. And then you will want to click on this open in desktop app to open inside the, your existing OneNote app. Okay, so because I have already opened it, so my OneNote A4 notebook is already open inside my OneNote desktop app. And after which you can just use all this uh, goodness that I have made for free for you. All right. So if you like this video, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more OneNote tips and tricks. So I'll see you in the next time. Bye.